Getting Black History Month and even with its controversies. Actor Morgan Freeman realizes that we are great people and our history is not so small to fit in a month, even in a lifetime. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is White History Month? No, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? On Stop still? talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you. Nevertheless, my wallet, you know me against all controversies, Christmas. let us celebrate Black History Month, even with its controversies, and adjust as we go into the future. To celebrate Black History Month and to remember the sterling work of Dr. Carter G. Woodson. We recall in the Timaeus and Critias the story of Atlantis, the last black African golden age that covered the whole earth and was going all over other planets as related to us by our African priests when they told Solon that all oh, Solon, Solon, you Greeks are always children and there is not one old man amongst you. Dr. Carter G. Woodson teaches us that we have a wonderful history behind us and it is going to inspire us to greater achievements. Let's look at that history and inspire ourselves today. We, to know why we celebrate Black History Month, it, that it is only a small primer to reminding all of us about our ancient greatness that is littered with those who fought against those who enslaved and destroyed our civilizations like Islam and Judaism and Christianity and their colonizing forces that came against all melanin dominant you know, beings everywhere and treated us like animals. We must also remember those sellouts amongst us of our ancestors and our current leadership to curse them and never to allow them to continue to destroy us, but to celebrate great leaders, great poets, great sports persons, black revolutionaries, black inventors, black Asian kings, original black spirituality, as well as our Asian civilizations and our own salvation that is full of our own uh, culture. In celebrating Black Eastern Month amidst all its controversies, we see here great leaders that fought against injustice, unfairness, disharmony, disunity and united us as a people and fought to unite us to become innovators and great and to remove the shackles of colonialism, enslavement, destruction and racism. Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Duty Buckman, Marcus Garvey, a lot of all of these great leaders, we have to remember them during this month of great African achievement of the Black History Month, not only in one sector or one continent. Black History Month celebrates great black poets and musicians and an understanding that there has been a lot of miseducation of our own lives. We know that Trevor Roper, one of the European historians in the early 60s, said that pre-colonial African history was not existent. There was nothing like that. That is what he said. In 1969, he repeated his contention by even putting a label unhistoric on the whole of the African continent. What kind of scholarship is this? This is when our black poets, great thinkers, great teachers, melanin-dominant black preachers and teachers of our own culture and traditions taught us to hold fast to dreams. For if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. It was said by a great poet, Langston's Hughes. It is very, very important for us to know all these eminent American, black American, Africans, whatever you call them, melanin dominant 
poets, writers, singers, musicians, and the thinkers, and the people that have fought for equal and fairness all over the earth. Black History Month is not enough. Even if we zero in on one specific area, like musicians, even we say including dancers, and trendsetters, and pioneers, almost of all genres, Black History Month will never be enough. This is the controversy, number one controversy. It's not enough, but it is a primer to remind us of the innovation of the dancers, of the musicians, of entertainers, of people that just wanted to live on the earth happily without fighting each other, without going into other people's lands and converting them and they're saying, come to me, it's me who is right. But to say, let's enjoy life, let's enjoy nature. These are the people that we are celebrating during Black History Month. Not racists, not subtle racists that are quiet and liberal, but we are celebrating people that were innovative, that were inventors. Our ancient people invented a lot of things. Black inventors of ancient times. You go to elementsfornature.com. They tell you of black ancient inventors. The first inventors were melanin dominant human beings like Imhotep who invented the stethoscope and the medical system and the building of structures all over the earth that have never been replicated today. Here's a partial list of African American inventors and inventions and their patents dates. Their patents date. Our race invented the bed bug, blood plasma, cellular car, cell phone, um, emergency fire escape mechanisms, ice cream, mop, traffic lights, straightening comb, mailbox, the guitar, the electric lamp, elevator, gas masks, lawn mower, potato chips, peanut butter, imaging x-rays, fire extinguishers, combined harvesters. They invented sports. They were innovative in sports. Great sports persons who just wanted to compete against legislation, against all the barriers that were placed upon them. Black History Month teaches us of great basketball players, tennis players, gymnastics, athletics, tennis, boxing, anything that you name of. We are the best in sports. Skating is Black History Month. We celebrate this month because we are the people that are natural, original, and greatness. Black History Month reminds us of our physical prowess, our physical athleticism, our ability to break records, to set records. There is another one, great one, Usain Bolt, who has a record, 100 meter dash, Dibaba, Tirop, Pele, great footballers, great marathon runners. This is what Black History Month is celebrating. Not only small little enclaves. It is also great that Black History Month tells us about our great kings and teaches us to remember those that are stealing our history. For instance, we know that Ramasasa II made Africa the land of glory and victory and defended it against the forces that wanted to destroy us. But we know Queen Hatshepsut she stood up against even our own prejudices on women and stood up as a king, mighty and great. And today, the effects that are running around, changing the images of these great kings. Tutmose the third. There are others that are saying Tutmose looks like a European. There is a history of fake ancient Egyptian statues, fake ancient history that is being perpetrated, taught in primary school, in the media, entertainment, movies, films, and even repeated in any many, many places. This is what Black History Month should remind us, that there are people that are stealing and thieves of stolen legacy, stealing our legacy. Shame to those people. Shame to those people. We need our Black History Month to motivate us to know this truth, to go forward to the original spirituality, to embrace our ancient civilizations, not to say that civilization is not ours, this and that, these deities are not ours. Hey, this is my only civilization here in my small little country. Our culture is full of our ability to save our souls. The traditional African religion, based on animistic understanding, is as good as quantum science can go. It is ahead of quantum science. It is a belief in one supreme remote being who doesn't interfere in our lives, who created a hierarchy and also gave us the ability to understand the spirits of good and evil. 
in all things and re revere our ancestors to believe in magic that is ability to change nature charms we all have charms the cell phone is a charm today all those comes from our understanding and also to know the mediator between our tribe our race and our ultimate divine power which is inside us not outside us this is what black history man should teach us the foundations of our spirituality that are uh, pyramidal they are our spirituality is mature that's why we don't convert anybody that's why we don't teach anybody to convert to our religion our spirituality teaches us loyalty and gives us wisdom and gives us a heart that is mature gives us a mind that is mature that is loyal gives us an understanding of our own spirituality of our own spirit our own soul our own car and understanding that our own ancestors are inside us and that we are able to compete in any sphere of life this is what black history month should remind us so that we can compete in invention technology economy and in anything that we want to compete in we have seen that despite all the controversies a controversy where we think that black history is ma a month we know that black history is more than a month like thinking that oh yes it is being celebrated and we're happy about it but we know that there are certain tokens that we should not accept we want to change the system and believe that african american history month is black history we must celebrate black history without borders without tribes without religions spirituality philosophical differences without gender or age or other limits and that it should be celebrated as black history not only in a single month but every day of our lives until the day we breathe the last yes it is important to remember black history month because it tells us of our greatness, of where we have come from. It teaches our true history and it reminds us of those individuals that fought and stood for us. For instance, we, do you know that Claudette Colvin, born 1939, was the first one to refuse to give up a seat? We have to appreciate her and also appreciate Rosa Parks at the same time. African history is truly African. It's truly black history. Truly that which will set our greatness and our power and our mindset of greatness and our heroes into flight. Yes, we have to support those that speak the truth, that teach the truth, that represent what we can do in terms of actions, experience our own divine nature. Yes, our ancestors as well as our divinities those are the two primary forces that we need to understand and encapsulate and move with yes this is not the end but the beginning so black power rasta power celebrating black culture black culture and history and black history month is all ubuntu mahati where we say Modern challenges are fixed ancient solutions. Yes, Tatenda, Siabonga, Tualumba, Asante Sana, Inkom, Edupe, till we meet again, Siabonga Kakud. Your Hamanager manager to be preached by Adam Dwizu Lukunga says, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, as well as if you are interested, send us an email on joinedmifado.com. I'm in here.